Yo, what is up, you guys? Hope the party like every day is your birthday mix. We got another one for you guys today, and today we got a video from the one, the only, the pink hair loser. But he does have some pretty good videos. B day reviews. Juju Kaisen is a next level anime so i can't wait to see what this guy has in store for us today he always usually comes with some fire videos so make sure y'all do go show him some love damn he got only 141 subs that's some bullshit man <laughs> but he is on his road to 1k subs so try to help him on his journey but without further ado we are gonna hop right into this and see why juju kaisen is a next level anime and he still shit on that shit yay that should settle everything. <laughs> Yay! Yo, what is up, you guys? Hope the party and like every day is your birthday, cause we got a little honey juke juke for y'all today. And I'm talking yeah, about the Ju, Ju, Kaisen. Now I put this series off for a little bit, watching it. The first time I checked it out, I made the mistake of watching it in dub, and the dub on this series is horrendous. <laughs> yeah, that dub I'm do look nasty. mind-blowingly terrible. Probably one of the worst anime dubs I have ever listened to. The main character sounds like... Is she singing with a baseball bat? No emotions talking about death. Roll the clip. I can sense death all the way out here. I'm afraid of dying. I'm afraid, afraid of afraid dying. Of Didn't feel like I was. But my grandpa's death and the death I'm facing now, how are they any different? <laughs> <laughs> I posted a poll... <laughs> that weak ass cry, you guys. That shit is funny, bro. I'm not gonna lie. That cry is hilarious. Different. <laughs> <laughs> I posted a poll though on what anime to watch, and you guys recommended Juju, so I decided to check it out in sub. And might I say that was one of the greatest decisions I've ever made in my life. I don't even know where to start. There's so many good parts. The animation is absolutely beautiful. They, they got some top tier animation, not gonna lie, bro. Showing every little hit. We got some beautiful blood that they show, you know, really get the details into the fight scene. And, you know, they're not talking for a million bajillion years. I feel like the enemies get to it for the most part. And we just get to see some insane bad is ass peace. fight scenes. The actual story concept of the Wait, show that's is like super that. cool, also. You know, a, just a normal dude. Who ate some finger? It was finger licking good. Ichibori <laughs> then gets captured by Gojo, and they're like, "You got two choices, my man. You could either one, die right now, or you could eat all these fingers from this evil person, and then we'll kill your ass." Ichidori slowly becomes yeah. one of my favorite. So die now or die later. We That's some tough choices, you guys. I mean, of course, I would pick die later. You know who wants to die right now? That's still tough, though, that he got to die regardless. You know what I'm saying? Maybe, though, they won't. I, I, y'all, I have a prediction that they're not going to end up killing him because I don't know. I don't really know what's going to happen, but I don't think they're going to kill him. He's just too soup, and he be kicking ass too many, too many, um, what do you call them up? He be kicking too many monsters' ass for them to kill him, dude. There's no way. He just accepts his role, and he's like, you know what? I'm going to bang all these fingers for you guys, and you can just murk my ass in the grave. Who cares about life anyway? But if we're going to talk about favorite characters, go Joe. He's that Sensei. guy, man. This man is insane. I just love this character. If, and if you guys haven't seen Juju, I promise you, you check it out. He will become one of your favorites in time. The dude loves showing off for his students, but he shows off in the most lackadaisical, no one can touch that way. man. He's not even trying, yet he is absolutely teabagging these enemies. They're talking about some, you cannot overpower me. I am the strongest life form. <laughs> like, this man's, this man's like a midnight snack for me. He ain't even a full course meal. This man's a midnight, he's an appetizer. Dude just be laughing his ass off giving student lessons mid fight and what's crazy is we've only touched the surface to gojo's powers we haven't even really seen him i don't go. think you guys were ever gonna see gojo go full out until we see him fight sukuna i i feel like he gotta fight sukuna that's why i say that you know i don't know for sure but he gotta fight sukuna but the sukuna is the only one i think that's really gonna make that man sweat a little bit all 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 out yet but you know he's a badass dude because the whole demon community is scared of that man they literally, you guys, made a force field just for him. 
and he still shit on that shit. He broke it down and decided to wipe everybody with no hesitation. Yay! That's Yay! The pacing in this show is done very, very well. I feel like the episodes aren't, you know, too long, but they're not too short where we don't get a little bit of backstory. <laughs> Look at that little mini boxer. And really get to relate and connect with them. The enemies are super unique, also, how they have the low grade ones and then the special grade ones who can communicate and stuff. And the, the, the enemies themselves <laughs> all have unique and super cool powers. And they can kick some ass, so you know they're going to have some good fight scenes at all times in this thing. There's also not really any cringy parts. I'm trying to think. I'm pretty sure there was maybe one or two where I was like, eh, I could do without. But overall, I was invested through the whole entire series, you guys. Every episode was just some beautiful action. The only time there was really a pause where I was like, oh, this is a little boring was when they were doing the little training in school and stuff. Understandable. But that comes with every anime. Every anime can't be action-packed, 24-7, insane. Trying to find some complaints about this anime is a hard task. It just is a top-tier anime, it's S -tier, in my opinion. Dude. I'd and put it in an S-tier. And down to it, if I had to pick an anime that I just would think is the cleanest anime I have seen yet, I'm gonna have to go with Ju. Ju Kaisen. You know, One Piece is one of my favorite ones, but when it comes to just the overall quality of the anime, they kill it in pretty much every single aspect. I promise you guys, if you check this one out, it will not be a letdown. Actually, I do have a complaint about it. I just thought of one. I need more. I need more. Oh, y'all see that edit right there? Damn, B Day reviews low key be snapping with his edits. I'm not going to lie. The. The pictures of the dudes falling out the candy bag? That's some top tier editing. I know that didn't take a quick second to do. That definitely took a little, probably just that edit alone, y'all probably took like 15 minutes. Just that little edit. Maybe even a little longer. I need more. I need more. I got done with this damn series in like two or three days, dude. I just need some more episodes. That's really my only complaint I could think about the whole thing. Ain't no complaints. Hey, no, but in all seriousness, my only complaint about this show is I don't understand in this scene how this man did not die in his fight with Sukuna. He got hit through like 12 buildings, straight concrete. I agree with that, you guys. Some, one of y'all gotta let me know in the comments if you understand it. I just don't understand how he's not dying because it's they're human. It's not like they have super abilities and if you guys have finished the series a little spoiler when he was fighting that special grade and remember he got hit against the wall just off a little something he was like knocked out unconscious you telling me he's knocked out unconscious from that but he's still conscious and waking up after 12 concrete pillars that don't even make no sense in everything and i've seen him get a lot more hurt with a lot See, B-Day Reviews knows what I'm talking about. So I didn't really understand that part. What a smart lad. going to talk about it, bro. It's never that serious. But kind of. But the episodes that are a little bit more on the boring side, they do a good job of still keeping you invested where you go through them. And no, God, it's not please, like some no, stupid 12-episode no. thing where you have to watch all this bullshit. It's like two or three episodes and then bada-bang, bada-boom. You right back to some action <laughs> anime. If I had bada -bang, bada -boom. to rate this anime, it's going to be up there, you guys, with one of my favorite... Once, I'm going to give this a 9.7. Ooh, 9.7? It had... Oh, wait a minute. Y'all didn't even get to see that. Y'all didn't even get to see that right there, bro. Let me move. Let me move. I want you to feel the whole video. You know what I'm saying? I don't want y'all to miss something. Up there, you guys, with one of my favorite ones. I'm going to give this a 9.7. I just was invested the whole entire time. Okay, put my camera back. Good pacing, good characters, good animation, not too much cringy bullshit. There wasn't that, oh my god, I just realized. There wasn't that annoying ass, like, pervy character. Facts, that dude, be facts. In I mean, the one dude was, you know, what is your favorite type of woman? But he was a badass mofo. And he wasn't super cringy with it or anything or extra over perviness. He was super cool and just a chill dude. So he was really I that guy. He a character as well. If you guys have any complaints about Juju Kaisen, please let me know in the comments. Maybe stuff that I overlooked and I didn't get to see. Maybe I'll have to watch it back a second time 
to see maybe some things I missed. But my first time watching it, I enjoyed pretty much every single second of it. And it was one of my favorite or the favorite anime. That didn't even sound right. My favorite anime <laughs> the I favorite have anime. ever seen. Hope you guys did enjoy this quick little review on Juju Kaisen, though. We're going to be doing a lot more reviews on this channel. By the way, you guys, I said in the description to watch this with headphones. I'm pretty sure that he's saying that because of the music, bro. It's, it's way harder to hear the music in the background without headphones. But the music with the headphones, I'm not going to lie. Da -na 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 -na. It's really popping. Doing a lot more reviews on this channel, so make sure you do stay tuned. Let me know in the comments some anime that i could check out and do a review on i've been looking for some new stuff i'm gonna be doing spy family so get ready to see a review on that very very soon and hopefully some other irl things in the very near future you guys i love y'all thank you for tuning by into the video make sure to like and subscribe if you are new to the crew because we're gonna be having some crazy stuff come out this year and make sure you are partying like hey. every day is your birthday. Hey, he took my slogan. Gonna have to sue that man. Da -na -na. Dude, what a video you guys missed. Shout out to B Day Reviews. And I hope you guys enjoyed that. You can tell he put a lot of time into these videos, a lot of editing, and uh, some hard work. So. Hey, his link will be in the description for the original video. Make sure you guys do go show him some love. I know he'd appreciate it. Get him on the road to 1K subs. And you guys just have an amazing rest of your day. Make sure you're working hard, getting things done. And uh, bada bing, bada boom. I'm finna get to the next one. Damn, y'all. You know what I just realized? This man, B-Day, is also putting his videos in 4K. This is a 4K type of video, bro. Just overachieving with that. Just overachieving. You guys have a good rest of your day, though. Y'all be easy, man, and deuces.